Hey y'all, today we are at the Kentucky State Fair and honestly I've only been here probably once in my adult life and I didn't really do much when I was little I came here but we did all the uh, fun rides and everything but we're just gonna kind of show you around show you what the Kentucky State Fair has to show you I've been hearing a lot of things people have been saying that there used to be a whole lot more going on and it, I feel like it's kind of dying off but I think people come here more for the fair food and the rides but take a look at this uh tractor guys i have never been so close to a big tractor in my life if you think that tractor's sexy then you have high standards so let's go on and walk around and see what they got oh also teresa's not here today she was going to but her baby got sick and he's very contagious and no one's around to be allowed to be around them from seven days so we're here by ourselves I have nobody to call me out on my words I can't pronounce, can't walk, nobody to make fun of me, so it's going to be a boring video. Sorry, guys. No, it's not. It's going to be exciting. Y'all, for only $21,000, you can get this bad boy and dig some holes. But really, you can get chickens for that and ducks and dogs. They know how to dig holes. So if you don't really like live animals, it's okay. Because all you have to do is go to your local fair and they have fake petting zoos for anybody to enjoy. And guess what? You don't get any bites. It doesn't stink. And they don't bother you. Look at the little doll houses. Ooh, this is little. Look at the little dragon. There's little haunted kids in there. You know, just in case. Ooh, this is Halloween. Look, guys. Look at this doll house. They even got the little flowers. Look how small it is. All the little details. The little swing on the front porch. The hanging basket, the little chairs, the ivy. Attention to detail, guys. This is cute. I feel like I would go cross-eyed if I was there, like, doing a, like, mm. <laughs> I couldn't do it for a long time. Even the little pictures in here. That's pretty cool. You see that? Oh, we got first place, guys. The Hobbit House. Witch's House. They're going, it's like one of those uh, calendar guys. Just open one on each one, on each day until Halloween. They also have live animals also at a petting zoo. So you're both, anyone who, my words are not working right now, Kelly. So if you have somebody in your party who likes live animals and wants to go to the petting zoo, they can go. If you don't like live animals, you can go to the fake one. It's a win-win. Look, they got, look at all them chickens. I know, it's just he likes those chickens. Oh, that one's pretty. Look at that one. I can see chickens every day, guys. So we are in part of the 
Freedom Hall is what it's called here at the Kentucky State Fair, where we hold the World Championship Horse Show. And the, these are also some of the trophies they have. They have more over here. There's quite a few, but it's here at the Kentucky State Fair, and it's actually pretty cool. We're just standing there watching them prancing around and doing things. They're very pretty. Never seen it before, but we got a trophy here from 1906. And that's what they look like. The, <laughs> it's exactly what they look like in there, prancing around with their tails up. And, and at first I thought that was a whip they had, but it was just like a little, a little like whip kind of stick with a ribbon on the end, and they were just kind of like tapping the horse. They weren't whipping them. So if anybody thinks that, they're not whipping them. They're just kind of, I don't know, maybe it's like a little tap that makes them do something. I don't know anything about it. Baby horses. Look at all the old fire trucks in St. Matthew's part of town. You know, at first I thought this was a magnifying glass and while we were walking over here I was like, what do they need a magnifying glass for? And then I realized it was a light. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. That's the bigger one. Had to be 90s, right? Because it says boss. Just in case you didn't know. Forty nine. That's a nineteen forty nine. Only a two door. First thing we're going to try is a lemonade, guys. Everyone always gets a lemonade, so we'll see if it's any good. Guys, they have a Barbie funnel cake. That's pretty cool. We're going to try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's go over by the, the waterfall over here, guys. Isn't that a beautiful waterfall? <laughs> so, the lemonade stand had lemonade, <laughs> of course. And they had a Barbie funnel cake. It was their specialty cake. So the total price was $22 for both of these. $8 and what's that? $14? I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> but this is called the specialty funnel cake, so it was more money. And be careful because he tried to charge me $24. And I said something to him, and he realized he overcharged me. So either he really overcharged me by accident... Or he was trying to get that tip, so make sure you pay attention to prices when you pay for things. But let's try it. You know what's funny? Just the other day I was at Wendy's and the guy tried to take my money too. Oh, I like her. 
Mm. It's good. It tastes like a normal funnel cake, so. But isn't it pretty? Isn't it beautiful? So for a little bit extra money, you can get pink on it. <laughs> y'all want a bite? Hold on, hold on, y'all get a bite too. Oh, y'all get a big bite. So we were just over at a barbecue place and they have a, what was it called? Barbecue Sunday. It has mashed potatoes. We got brisket, beans, some, is that ketchup on top? It's like their homemade ketchup, but it's like a barbecue place in a, in a cone. I think it's barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, you can tell the difference. It's hot today, guys. So... We're trying not to stay outside too long. It's like Thanksgiving at the fair in a cup. I mean, this was $15. I didn't get any beans. Hold on. I'll try beans. Good flavor. Nothing spectacular, though. Everyone's always talking about how good fair food is, but I always get disappointed. $15 worth? I don't think so. Maybe more like 10 But that is a cool idea. You can just walk around instead of a whole plate. What do you think, Alex? What's up? <laughs> exactly. He's ready to get out of the heat. <laughs> All right, we're going to enjoy this and move on to the next thing. Maybe another dessert, another food item, a drink. I don't know. Wherever it takes us. We are getting a sweet corn sandwich, arepa. We'll see how that goes. Never had one before. But basically out here they have all the same stuff that is always, huh? <laughs> always around. There's nothing really new. We already had a lemonade. It was okay. You know, they got ribbon fries, hamburgers. They got the donut and Krispy Kreme sandwich. That's nothing new. I mean, there's like no tacos either, guys. What's up? euros so i don't know but we're gonna stand in the shade because it's starting to get hot out it's not as hot as it has been not humid i would say but it is starting to get there and i think after we eat a few more stuff we're kind of ready to go <laughs> the fair used to have so much more things um, they used to have the modular homes that you can go into the ground and they were nice to our standards i guess and they got the waterfall. That's about it. They got the the fair rides, but I'm always afraid to get on those now. I see too many uh, too many people who have accidents. So this is the nine dollar arepa corn sandwich. It has cheese. Oh my gosh, it's it's boiling hot. I can't eat it right now. But it looks like two pancakes with slices of cheese. Mozzarella cheese. It's sweet corn sandwich with melted mozzarella cheese. So let's see how this is. As long as I don't burn my face off. I'm already burning my fingers off. All right, first time trying, let's do this. You know, that ain't bad. It's almost like a cornbread. <laughs> It literally is with cheese, but the dough is sweet like cornbread and the cheese is like salty. So it's actually good. I was very, I was not really looking forward to eating this, but I'm enjoying it. Mm, that's good, actually. All right. Y'all want to try to? Mm, nope. It's on mine. 35 thumbs up. I enjoy this. Update on the arepa, arepas, arepas. The Mexican loves it. <laughs> he approves too. Kelly liked it too. Came with Kelly. And poor Teresa, she had to stay home and she had to miss this. Sorry, Teresa. Sorry. 
your fault for having, getting a kid and having them be sick. Yep. <laughs> so that's what I think uh, fair foods should be about. They should be, it's always the same. It's always like nachos, burgers, corn dogs, and that is something unique. I really enjoyed it. 35 thumbs up, like I said. Can I do the Outrageous Orange in the 12 ounce? So I got the Outrageously Orange drink. Never gotten that here. And you know, you normally see the big tall glasses of rice walk around drinking. I only got the 12 ounce. It was, um, oh, it was $12 for 12 ounces, $24 for 24 ounces. So a dollar per ounce. Let's try it though. It has a hint of orange and a hint of cream. You can taste the alcohol. Not the best though. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm too picky now, but it, it's refreshing. I could say that because it's nice and hot and this is nice and cold. But I mean, I'm gonna drink it no matter what. I think it needs maybe a little bit, a little bit more sweetness and it'd be perfect. But it's Coco Bongos. I bet you this would hit the spot. If we were in the pool on the beach, you wouldn't care what it tasted like. It's actually warming up to me. It's getting better. Mm. And the smell of burnt rubber and garbage outside. Now that's the fair. But I don't think I don't think we're gonna get anything else because everything else is corn dogs, nachos, hamburgers. So this is it, y'all. We're not going on the rides because you might die, and it, there's really not much going on. So hope y'all enjoy this. So we're gonna finish this up. We're gonna walk back to the car and. Sorry about the little video, but this is all we got this time, and I hope y'all enjoy. Bye. Huh? What's a custom laundry? You can go ahead. Sorry. That's a lawn jockey. The green stuff? No, the jockey. Oh. <laughs>